So how to charge a LiPo battery safe and easy. I had several requests, people asking about how to charge a LiPo battery safe and easy, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this particular little IMAX um, LiPo charger right here up to a six cell battery, which I think is a good charger for the money. And I'll show you a 4S 3300 a couple of them, show you the differences on it real quick, and we'll we'll charge them safe and easy. So hang on. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. Before we plug this charger up, I'm going to use a AC adapter, but you can charge your LiPo battery directly from your car with this particular type charger. Cigarette lighter, your engine must be running or, or some alligator clips directly on the battery. In your instruction manual, it would tell you what the max voltage is that can go into this charger. And right here it says 11 to 18 volts. My charger here is 12 volt 5000 milliamps so it could definitely handle a little bigger AC adapter or if you were using it through your car which would be better to put you know alligator clip directly on your battery with your engine running it might be 14 to 15 volts max so this charger could handle it okay let's plug this thing up all right, LiPo battery charger. We're keeping things simple and safe and easy to do. So this is a good charger because we can see the LCD screen and it's easy to use. And this charger is actually good for the longevity of your batteries because it doesn't charge all that fast. The best way to get the longest life out of your LiPo batteries is to not charge them as fast as they can be charged. On this side of the charger, it has plugs for your main battery lead. I happen to have an XT60 on the end of this one. The 60 stands for 60 amps. And on the other side of your LiPo battery pack, you'll have what's called the balance lead. This particular charger, you can plug the lead directly into the side of the charger for a two cell, three cell, four cell, five cell, or a six cell. Some chargers just have the six cell plug and then you will need to plug in a balance board, which does the same thing. Two cell, three cell, four cell, five cell, and six cell. This charger and many others have a place to plug in a temperature probe, which is good if you're gonna be charging your batteries uh, unsupervised and heaven forbid they're getting too hot and something may happen. The charger will turn off if the battery reaches a certain temperature and all the settings are in here that you can, you know, change on your own for whatever instant you're in. Now, before we charge a battery, we'll look at a couple different batteries real quick. So here is a 4S, which is 4 cell, 14.8 volt. And this particular one is a 3300 milliamp. The milliamp is uh, how much gas is in your gas tank. If it was a 2200 milliamp and it was still a 4S and it was still a 60C, this would have more gas in the gas tank and fly longer. This 60C is the discharge rate. Here's another battery that's a 3300 milliamp 4S with a 50C. The higher the C rating, the more amps can be sucked out of the battery pack. An EDF jet, jet would want way more of a C rating versus the E-Flight Apprentice. So the higher the C rating is how much faster the juice can be sucked out. So 60C shows a 60C discharge. And this particular battery has a 120C burst. So it, 
it says you can fly it at a 60 c constant and then you know full throttle every now and again with a 120 burst rate that's for another video the charge rating for this particular battery 4s 3300 milliamp is a 1c charge rate which will be 3.3 amps your battery and the instruction manual to come with it will tell you what the max charge C rating is. I don't see it on these, but I think these are a maximum of 3 C charge. So you could possibly charge them at 9.9 uh, .9 amps. So let's plug up a battery. All right, so we're going to charge our... 4S 3300 milliamp. I'm going to need an adapter plug. And I'm going to plug in the main battery plug. And then I need to plug in my balance lead. So now the main plug is plugged up plus the balance lead is plugged up. We can go ahead and use our temperature probe. just like so. Now, we're gonna go start the battery type and we're gonna find LiPo battery. LiPo battery, enter. LiPo charge, we'll run through the differences real quick. LiPo balance, that's what we want. LiPo balance charge. The first setting is 3.3 amps, and that's the 1C charge rate on the 3300. So, and then we're already set at a 4S, 14.8 volt. And then you just hold down the enter button. And then confirm. <clears throat> and there it is, charging. And while it's charging, you can look at some of the info, like here's our cells. 4 volt, 4 volt, 4 1, and 4 1. A fully charged LiPo battery. Each cell is 4.20. You can also program your chargers for it to shut off at different capacities and so on. That's all for different, uh, different videos. A timer, something went wrong and it's just charging forever. You can set it to turn off in 20 minutes or something. And here's the temperature settings that we can change on our own. Here's our voltage that we have going into it. In voltage, 4S, maximum 16.8. You take the 4.2 times 4, you come up with a 16.8. And we're just going to stop it. So there you have it. Charging LiPo, safe and simple. Well, hey, if you guys get anything out of uh, my videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't, leave a comment. How about a video idea? And ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. video. <laughs> That's the best way to support what I do. So I'd really appreciate that. These chargers are actually really good. I've had um, two of them now. I got rid of my first one. Just horse traded it and... Uh, kind of regretted it so I got another one I've got one or two lipo batteries that are my first batch from four summers ago that are still good because I've charged them slow and took care of them you know never uh, always discharged them you know storage charge we can do more videos on that I, I just took care of them and they're still lasting so charging them safe and easy and slow is good longevity so uh, for those of you that have been following me along for quite a while, this is probably my last video for a few weeks. My daughter's getting married next weekend, so I'm on vacation. I'm off to uh, Lake Tahoe, and I'm going to do the wedding and visit some family and friends, and, and I won't be back for a couple weeks. So if you're wondering, where's Sean? Well, now you know. So I'll, uh, 
I'll report back to you guys. So everybody have a good time, have fun flying, and uh, I'll see you when I get back. All right, guys, hey, thank you. Until next time, you'll see me here. Yep, right there.